Hey, brochacerinos and brochacerinas, what's happening today, guys? Barofist, welcome to another video. Uh, today I felt like making video about this uh, spot that I haven't really done so far video about. And I know that it can provide a lot of things for you, especially like Mage Wave Cloth, some um, Rune Cloth, some uh, Transmog. I've got some rare things, I've got some common stuff. Uh, basically, this is what I got in like around 20 minutes of testing this spot. My friend Judgmental uh, uh, remind me, uh, reminded me of this spot. I've been farming this, but I didn't notice that I haven't uh, done a video about this spot so far. So I felt like let's do the video and share the spot with you because you're constantly asking me, Hey man, where can I farm, uh, where can I farm from small of this type around le uh, level 50 or something? And yeah, this spot can provide some really nice from small pieces. Uh, some of them really really high price some of them low price, but it doesn't matter average is really good spot And I'm gonna show you for uh, what I got so far in this uh, 20 minutes of, of farming for me. I think it was like 22 or something I had to reload because there was like a vagina DK camping me uh, 110 and I'm farming on my uh, twink 101 so I couldn't really kill him So I reloaded my DK to kill him anyway, uh, let's go and see what I actually got First of what I'm gonna do is just summon my mount and sell all the stuff that I have in my bags, uh, which is some gray stuff, right? I have an add-on called Scrap that sells the junk for me. There you go. Now I'm going to use my bank stank uh, add-on to sort the things up. And these are the things that so far I got. I'm gonna show you how you can actually farm the spot so you don't really think that I'm just showing you the loot. Uh, but I got this stuff, which is like 400 gold, and I have 600 gold, and then some random shit. Uh, I got some Crusaders, I got some Overlords. I tried first to make Druid how this will go. I think Monk is actually better for farming this spot. As you can see, some normal, regular green stuff. Uh, Astron Smog. I got some... No, actually, these are some things that I have failed to post on Auction House. Squire Pants. This is for, I think, Hillsborough Foothills. Vendor? No, uh, old old kills with foothills, dungeons, there is a vendor inside, this gray, uh, white stuff actually sells good on auction house. I don't know why people are buying it, but it sells good. If you don't know how to buy them, you just go to old kills with foothills, uh, dungeon, and you can buy them, like, there is a vendor inside the dungeon, so you can buy them from the vendor. Anyway, uh, in 20 minutes I managed to get around 380 uh, mage wave cloth and around 264 rune cloth. Now, this cloth is not really expensive by its own, uh, on my server at least, but when you trans uh, transform it with uh, tailoring, of course, you gotta have tailoring if you wanna get some extra cloth from this spot, and when you trans uh, transform this with tailoring, uh, mage wave, uh, and make some of these, what was it? <clears throat> some of these black mage wave, I think it was, stuffs. Yeah, you can do some, yeah, so, something like, yeah, black mage with gloves. So if you do the gloves, I think also bracers you could do with, for some lower materials. No, actually the black mage with gloves are the lowest you can actually make. When you do this and when you uh, disenchant those, actually disenchant value of this item is 35 gold. And you're making them for, uh, out of 8, I think, uh, 8 total mage wave cloth. Uh, you can disenchant them and you get like around 30 gold. Vision dust is really expensive on my server and people are buying that a lot. I don't know why, why what they're doing it with, the, uh, with that. Probably some twink enchants or something. I don't know, maybe leveling enchanting. But they're buying this, uh, you know, this vision dust and soul dust and all those old dusts for quite a lot of gold. And I, I believe that if, if, if I got this in like 20 minutes, I'm gonna get around 300, 300. Around uh, 600 of each on... Uh, out of all the mage wave cloth and some transmog items. My friend told me that from this spot he got yesterday three rare items in around 20 minutes of farming or something like that. So I believe that this spot can provide pretty good amount of epics and rares and green stuff, you know, green transmog. I can see a lot of different variety types. You see chieftains, crusaders, overlords uh, as well, cannibalist, myrmidon. They have a lot of random green uh, transmog sets that we can farm uh, over here and some of them are looking pretty good and selling pretty good as well. Uh, now, how you can farm this spot? As Monk, this is how I'm farming it. I put my uh, my Ox statue around there, so the, I, I can pull these two groups with my Ox statue. Then I pull some extra mobs here, and then I just go and... Uh, I just go and kill these stuffs up, and then I go over here and kill these stuffs up. And then when you kill all these, especially these sergeants, 
you need to kill everything that you see, you know, the soldiers, the sergeants, the assassins, the ogres. The soldiers and the ogres are really, really important because when you kill all of these soldiers and ogres that are spawned around this area, all these packs that you saw, they will respawn instantly, right? So it's probably better to farm as a druid, maybe even feral druid, because I found that uh, Boomkin doesn't really work that good on this spot because you don't really feel your astral power to be able to summon your starfall that fast so that is not really good you see sergeants are already respawning instantly uh, as soon as you kill all these uh trolls and and orcs and ogres and stuff they will respawn instantly again you see sergeants again you have all the time something to kill like all the time there is something to kill in this spot and it's pretty cool uh you never run out of mobs as you can see the uh the let me just show you you see the Mage Wave Cloth and the Rune Cloth are, are just putting into your, your inventory, making it really, really efficient. So I, I would say that this is really efficient farm as Trunsmog. You test it out guys, tell me how it goes for you. So far I haven't really had luck uh, in these 20 minutes to get some really, really crazy item. But average I think in my bags I got around like 4000 gold per uh, 20 minutes so far out of all these items. That's how much is the looted item value, right? And if you transform these items into something better, I think you might get even more gold. Depends. However, the raw gold is not really high because these grey items are not really selling that good. I mean, for that good amount, 39 silvers. Well, actually, they sell for a nice amount. 1 gold, 39 silvers. Yeah, they, they actually don't, don't, don't sell that bad. So I would believe that uh, this will not be uh, a raw gold farming spot, but instead a transmog farming spot. As you can see... Uh, when I go and kill these mobs around here, the, uh, these mobs will respawn again and you always like just run around in circles and you kill mobs basically there is nothing really, uh, uh, there is no big philosophy in this spot, you know. Uh, this spot of course, this spot is located on the map in Burning Steps in Blackrock Stronghold around here in Burning Steps. You come here, Alliance or Horde, you can, you know, farm whatever, I'm Horde. Uh, so yeah. That's all guys, test it out the spot, tell me your results in the comments below, I would really like to uh, see how this works. Hopefully Legion will provide some more farming spots so I can keep pumping these gold farming uh, videos. If not, I'm gonna keep up with the other videos, you know, like uh, leveling guides, reputation guides, dungeon guides, whatever guides, maybe some other games as well, you know, like Overwatch, League of Legends, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, meanwhile guys, stay cool, like the video if you think that, you know, you like the spot or you think that you like the video or something and subscribe for more stuff. I'll keep them coming as fast as I can, as more as I can. Anyway, thank you all and bye, office guys. See you in the next one. Moving it off.